And here are 30 things you need to know before moving to Michigan from a local Michigander. My name is Mike Perna, local real estate agent. I would love to help you find your next home or sell your current one. Let's move on. Number one, our state is shaped like a mitten and it's one of our claims of fame. In fact, it looks like that. Number two, your hand is now a state map. Your right hand is the lower peninsula and your upper hand is the upper peninsula. And it works kind of like this. Number three, we call the upper peninsula the UP and it's a part of our state north of Mackinac Bridge and it's a sprawling wilderness with wildlife, hiking, waterfalls, trails, and a lot more. Number four, oh, means I'm sorry. And if you say it after committing a minor infraction like drinking someone else's Michigan craft beer. Number five, we have two types of residents here in Michigan. We've got the Upers and the Trolls. People that live in the Upper Peninsula are called the Upers, combining Upper and Peninsula in kind of a weird, odd fashion. And people like me who live south of the Mackinac Bridge are called Trolls because Trolls live under a bridge. Number six, but out-of-towners to both the Upper and Lower Peninsula are called Fudgies because they flock to Mackinac Island yearly, primarily to buy fun. Number seven, the Mackinac Bridge is a five mile engineering feat of greatness that connects the two peninsulas and is the 27th longest bridge in the world. It was the fifth longest suspension bridge and everyone should cross it at least once. It's a heck of a ride. Number eight, if you're feeling a little more exotic, we've got a couple of bridges that cross into the foreign lands of Canada, most notably the Ambassador Bridge and 25% of all goods coming and going from the US and Canada and back goes through the Ambassador Bridge. We deliver things like cars to them and Canada mainly ships us maple syrup and hockey players. And the bare naked ladies and rush number nine it's pronounced Mackinac, and we know that there are two spellings that pr are pronounced the same way Mackinac island Mackinac bridge Mackinac city Mackinac city and Mackinac township all with different spellings number 10 we use the midwest goodbye but we say we're going to leave someone's house and when we actually leave are usually a few hours apart and it kind of works like this you stayed another obligation that you have about two to four hours from the point that you actually want to leave the house you remind everybody once an hour that the time is coming and when the time is there in a seated position like this hit both legs and say well and that signals to other michiganders to say i'm sorry you gotta go and i wish you could have stayed longer do not repeat do not stay longer you will never leave also, never use the words me too. You will also never leave. Now, if you find yourself in Wisconsin, you got to add this second part to the whelp like this. Well, I just realized I left a block of cheese on the counter. So, you know, and then you just let that trail out and a good Wisconsiner will physically pick you up and sprint deliver you to your car or your home. 11, myth. The Mackinac Bridge swings closed at night. And if you're stuck on the wrong side at 9 p.m., you're stuck in either Sault Ste. Marie or you're stuck at the London Lower Peninsula. Now, we really only tell this to tourists. The whole state's in on it, and now you are too. Number 12, it's go green or go blue, but it is never go red. Our biggest game days are U of M versus Michigan State, but you cannot root for both. It's like wearing the shirt of the band you're going to see. Don't be that guy. Pick one side and stick to it, and that's I cannot be Ohio's. 13. Wearing anything red on game day is the most dangerous thing you can do. Second is wearing red during the running of the bulls, but this is the Motor City. So instead of being trampled by a bull, you're gonna be hit by a car. Number 14, we vacation up north in amazing areas like Traverse City, Torch Lake, and Clarkston as generally agreed upon that up north starts anywhere south of the Mackinac Bridge and anywhere north of where you live. So if you live in Rochester, up north starts in Oakland Township. Number 15, we do not cry over winter, especially when talking to anybody from outside of Michigan. Now, privately, when we're talking to other Michiganders, yes, we cannot stand winter. Now, that said, we do not have nine continuous months of winter like Minnesota does, and anything above 40 degrees in Michigan is sandal weather. Number 16, we lose our minds every time the first snow comes down. It's like we forgot how to drive in snow during the six to seven months that we didn't have it. Every time. Stay off the road that day. It could be a dusting of snow, and then the whole state goes 10 miles an hour, except that one guy with a truck that goes 50 on the shoulder. And don't be that guy either. Number 17, summer Michigan lasts about 90 glorious days, and it is glorious. We don't have the scorching Death Valley heat of California, and we're muggy, but not like Florida muggy. It's just right for about three months, and then all of a sudden it's fall, then winter, then spring. Number 18, Euchre is our state card game. And if you don't know how to play, any of your neighbors can very easily teach you. Spades is also a loosely acceptable second choice until you learn Euchre. Number 19, road construction never ends. It just increases and de decreases a little bit. We take the same pride in talking to non-Michiganders about our potholes as a grandfather starting any sentence to a grandchild in my day or any fisherman talking about a cat. Our catch is the pothole we avoided so our car wasn't swallowed up and gone forever. Number 20, we don't drink soda or Coke, we drink pop. Coke, Pepsi, Sprite, Mountain do it's all pop number 21 we invented the greatest foods here in michigan superman ice cream coney dogs burners potato chips bread cereal all of it no need to google it google is wrong if it says it's anywhere else than michigan number 22 you must own at least four ice scrapers per car not those crappy ones they sell in ohio at least 18 inches and include the brush in a pinch a broom 
and a credit card will work just as well. Number 23, fleece means coat and coat means heavy winter jacket. For fleeces, you'll want several to dress in layers. It could be 70 and sunny in the AM and 30 with snow in the PM. And for a winter coat, you definitely need a sturdy one. Number 24, waterproof and sub-zero are the minimum standards on all clothing tags. If you don't see one or both, keep shopping and just don't even waste the money. Number 25, here in Michigan, we add an S to all the store names. We didn't go to Meyer, we went to Myers. We went to JC Penney's, not JC Penney. Actually, uh, it's hard to say, just JC Penney. Number 26, here in Michigan, the SOS is not Morse code for help. It's the Secretary of State for plates and tags and whatever else that they do. I have no idea what they do. The DMV is a fictitious place only in LA movies. It has also two words, not three, Secretary of State. 27, cars are illegal on Mackinac Island. And this is not a Michigander trick like the bridge closing. Only golf carts, snowmobiles, or horses. So in the eternal words of Warren G the reg and the regulators, mount up. 28. This one's a parenting pro tip. Halloween costumes should fit over heavy coats in cases 20 degrees and also, if at all possible, include an umbrella in the costume design. A weatherman is an ideal costume for all Michigan kids. 29. The Detroit Lions never win, but we always root for them. Root for them. Michiganders are, if nothing else, loyal Lions fans. Go Lions. And number 30. Don't tell us you're from California, Arizona, or Florida. You left constant sunshine and we're just all perplexed. Like for real. Like why did you leave? My name is Mike Parnup, Michigander and local real estate agent here in Southeast Michigan. If we can help you with your home purchase or your home sale, call the number on the screen or click the link in the description. It'll take you straight to my calendar to book a time to chat on the phone. Thank you again, everyone, for watching and see you on the next video.